I am the duly appointed, legally appointed United States Senator from the state of Illinois, and I certainly expect that the uh, senators will recognize that and do not deny Illinois its legal representation as we get underway in this 111th Congress. It is my hope and prayer that they will certainly have gotten the message that what the governor has done, regardless of his problems, they're not my problems. There's no taint on me. He has carried out his constitutional duty and found a person who is qualified to fill that vacancy, and that's what he's done. I spent 20 years in the Illinois government. I know this state. I know the people, and I know the problems. I am ready, willing, and able to learn my process in the Senate, but to certainly hit the ground running and representing the 13 million people of this great state. Well, I, you know, uh, living in Chicago and Illinois, I know your track record and as a political player and a major political force, uh, not only in Chicago, but in Illinois. Now, it, you are aware of Illinois politics, and oftentimes there is guilt by association. Y you know that, and you don't think that by the governor appointing you that there would be some guilt or some taint on you simply because of the controversy that he has found himself in. Don, is there such thing as taint in the law? I, I am a former attorney general. I've never read anywhere in the statute that they said if a governor is having some type of serious legal problems that he cannot carry out his constitutional duties. When someone showed me that, then I would be convinced that there might be something that would impact my ability to serve and to be effective for the people of Illinois. I don't think that that's possible. When I spoke with, uh, when this news broke uh, that you were, uh, that you were going to, uh, that he was going to appoint you, uh, I spoke with uh, the President of the Illinois Senate, Emil Jones, and he said he had a conversation with you earlier, I believe it was earlier in December, and you uh, expressed interest in this job, and then you called him that day and said that you were uh, going to, that in fact the governor was going to appoint you. He supports you, there are many Illinoisans who support you, but you've also found yourself in a position where there are people, many of them African American as well, political leaders, who are not supporting you. Do you understand their position? Well, I respect their position, but I don't agree with them. What is there to understand? I, I will ask anyone, does the governor of this state have the legal authority to make the appointment? And the answer to that is yes. Secondly, am I qualified? Do I meet the constitutional requirement to serve in the United States Senate? I do. There is no such other criteria other than people got their own private agendas that they may be in turn seeking to, to foster or bring forth. Mm -hmm. You know the law very well. Very well, sir. How far do you plan to take this? And do you see any... Uh, is there any point or any uh, where in the law that you see that you cannot be appointed? Do you plan to take this to the very end, and do you see that this is legally possible for you to, in fact, to become, become the senator of Illinois? Don, I am the senator. <laughs> I am the senator. Okay. And, and, and the next step is, is for the United States Senate to do its constitutional duty and, and not disenfranchise the third 13 million people of Illinois and, and have us to be shorthanded when all these crises are coming down around our state and around our nation and Illinois would not be fully represented in the Senate. That's the reason why I took this seat. It's because I wanted our people in this state to have a voice there speaking on their behalf as we try to ta tackle some of the major crises that are confronting uh, uh, Illinois and America. So you're up for the challenge? I am definitely. You, did you, can you hear it in my voice, Don? I don't, I don't want to get too emotional here, but I'm ready. And, uh, you know, you know I, I'm ready. <laughs> uh, okay, and one last question, because I have to run here, Mr. Burris. Sure. Uh, what kind of reception do you think you're going to get? Uh, in terms of, uh, well, we'll determine if I'm not seated, then we'll have to take the next step. Okay. Roland Burris, thank you very much, sir.